Hey guys, I'm Jazz, and on this episode of Feeling It, we're going to be talking about, you guessed it, feelings. Sometimes we might be feeling okay, or even like we've hit our groove. Other times we'll see something in the news or miss our friends and everything looks totally different. Let's hear how some of you are feeling right now. I am feeling okay. I am feeling content, tired. I've been experiencing a lot of disappointment. I'm feeling pretty happy because the sun shines out and it's been such a nice warm day. The start of the year was pretty sad for me and my family as uh, we I lost my nonno and my mum lost her dad. Even though we are grieving, we still managed to bond together and make the best out of the worst of the situation. The important thing to note here is that there's no right or wrong way to feel. It can be totally normal to categorise our emotions as good or bad. We might even feel scared or ashamed of some of our stronger emotions and try to suppress them. We've all been there, right? It doesn't work. It makes them come back stronger. This can lead us to doing things we wish we didn't, like exploding at someone we love, eating all the junk food in the house, or avoiding things we usually like. So let's start by allowing ourselves to feel our feelings and realize that they're not either good or bad, they just are. I'm gonna show you something you can use regularly that will help a lot with this. It's been studied and it works. We call it a vibe check. The idea is if we can get to know our vibe and name our vibe, then we can work with it. First up, imagine your feelings are visible, like an energy field around you that changes color as you experience different emotions. The blue zone is for low energy, unpleasant feelings like sadness, boredom, and loneliness. The green zone is for low energy emotions that feel nice, like contentment, gratitude, and satisfaction. On the high energy spectrum, yellow is for energizing feelings that are pleasant, like excitement, joy, or silliness. While red is for unpleasant but energizing feelings, like anger, frustration, and anxiety. So the first step is to ask what colour your energy field is. You can use your body for clues. If you're slumped over or breathing slowly, you're in a low energy state. If your shoulders are tense and your blood is pumping, it's probably high energy. Now you have some colour. Step two is to get curious about it. Ask, why do I feel this way? What is something that happened recently that could be having an impact? Are there memories I have associated with this place or situation? Step three. Name the vibe. Think about the colour you landed on. What emotions fall under that colour? Can you find one, or maybe a couple, that best represent where you're at? Precisely naming our emotions is really helpful with step four, which is to let them out. Remember emotions come and go like waves. They don't last forever, and giving them a voice is the best way to allow these emotions through. You could journal them out, talk to a friend, or express them creatively through art or music. The choice is yours. But remember, emotion equals motion. Whether the emotion you're feeling is enjoyable or challenging, it's always good to express it and allow it to flow on through. The fifth and final step is to work with your vibe. For example, if you find yourself down in the blue, you might consciously try and up your energy by dancing around the house. But if you find yourself in the red, here's one really easy hack that can help bring yourself into the green. All you have to do is breathe. Sit down and put your hand on your stomach. Notice it rise and fall as you breathe. Now, breathe in for four counts. Hold your breath for two counts. Breathe out for six counts. It takes a little practice, so don't worry if it doesn't work right away. You can always try something else, like talking to someone you trust. Just keep trying and experimenting. That's it, you've completed a five-step vibe check. Try it a few times this week and see how you go. You could even set a daily reminder. I hope it comes in handy. See you next time.